Hey, what's up guys? This is Dom from MacMixing.com and today I just want to show you the software update, uh, the OTA update from Apple. And uh, sorry for the video quality guys, I mean I know it's not bad because it's being recorded on my 4S but it's not the same as my other camera and I just got this update so I wanted to get it to you guys and get out the information as soon as I could. And I couldn't wait till I got home, so I just recorded it on my phone. But I'm going to show you how to update your iPhone or iPad over the air using Apple's new OTA updates on iOS 5. So right here, you can see this is my iPad here. And uh, so basically what you do is uh, you go into your settings, which is right there. And then you go to general right here and then you're gonna go to software update and just tap on software update and it'll search for the update and then it will pull up iOS 5.0.1 and so as you can see here right at the bottom it says fixes bugs affecting battery life adds multitasking gestures for original iPad now that in my opinion is huge um, and it removes bugs with documents in the cloud, improves voice recognition for Australian users using dictation. And if you click learn more, it'll actually give you a full feature list here. And let's just look at some of it real quick. Um, it, uh, it, it, it uses, uh, you have to have one of these compatible products to use the software update, obviously, and to update to iOS 5. And then uh, yeah, there's more information on security content of the update. But that's pretty much all it does. Um, two huge things, though, in this update, in, in my opinion, stuff that matters to me personally, fixes the battery life issue, which I haven't, uh, I haven't had an issue with that. But I know a lot of people have, and that's really important to me to like, see things like that get fixed. And the multitasking multi gestures, that's a tongue twister almost, um, that's pretty big too, especially for original iPad users not having that before. Uh, Apple allowing that to be in iOS 5 for iPad 1 as well. So what you all have to do here, the only thing you really have to do is click on download and install. It's going to pull up this little user agreement and this all looks the same on your iPhone too. Um, I went through the same process on a different iPhone and it's going to pull up the terms and stuff, terms and conditions user agreement and you just want to click agree or disagree and keep in mind if you click disagree over here it will not let you download the update so I'm gonna hit agree and then it's gonna say connect your iPad to a power source while the download is in progress to save batteries well my battery is 88 percent so I'm not really worried about that right now um, so we're gonna go ahead and click OK here click OK and it's going to begin at downloading that update. As you can see, it says downloading right there. And we even get a little, uh, a little bar right there letting us know how long the download is going to take. Less than one minute remaining. Pretty fast. I mean, it's over Wi-Fi, obviously. And I'm sure 3G won't take that much longer than, than a, a minute or two, you know. Um, but this is how you download it. And we're going to go through the install process. I'm going to show you what it looks like when it's installing as soon as this finishes downloading. And you see now here it says preparing update right there, preparing update. So it, I'm assuming that it's finished downloading. I'm not sure. It still says downloading at the bottom there, but it says preparing update. So I'm guessing at some point here in a second, a little bit, my iPad is just going to turn off and restart with the update installed. And it looks like it's uh, finished up here. It's at the end of the bar at anyways. So let's see what it's going to do for us here. All right, so there you go. Software update. iOS 5 will be installed in five seconds. Your iPad will restart when the installation is finished. It's just going to automatically do it. And so there you go, verifying update. It's verifying it with the Apple servers. And as it pops up, you see we get this uh, little loading bar, like it's installing the update obviously uh, that's probably what it's doing alright so it's finishing up sorry that's sideways whatever um, finishing up the install you can see here alright and there we go it pulled it up for me everything is restarted there's the nice Mac mixing iPad background 
if uh, if a lot of you want that, I'll actually make that background available. So let's go in here now. Yeah, all right, you guys. So um, everything's installed, and if you go to our settings here, you can actually see in about that we are running right here. Ta da! 5.0.1 and that looks like it's revision 9A405 this was all done without even touching a computer so that's pretty awesome I'm pretty happy about this uh, and it you know it opens up big doors for Apple and iPad and stuff like that so you guys thank you very much for watching um, please subscribe in this button right here our Twitter link is here our Facebook link is here. Ramp. And thanks again, guys. This is Dom from MacMixing.com. And have a good day.